up for night owls. You could see a spectacular show tonight. The Orionid meteor shower is active for the next few weeks, peaking tonight after midnight through Monday morning. So they are well known for the brightness and speed of the meteors. Experts say you can enjoy views of the meteor shower from anywhere in the U.S. depending on the weather. So let's bring in Steve and Steve. Are we going to be able to see them tonight? Are the skies going to be clear or what? Yeah, for a change. It seems like all these space shows we've had clouds blocking them. Not this time around. I do think the conditions will be nice and at the peak you'll see about 10 or 20 per hour. And that's usually after about one in the morning till about five in the morning. So if you're a night owl and you want to see it, it may be worth staying up. Our skies are crystal clear. If you're going to bed and you're waking up tomorrow morning, you're going to definitely want a coat. It's going to be beautiful, sunny looking outside, but we will be seeing, yeah, that chill in the morning hours. That dissolves pretty quickly in the afternoon as temperatures approach the 80 degree mark. If you're looking for fall weather, that returns here Looks like Thursday and Friday, so temperatures back into the 60s. But one thing this forecast really lacks is rain. And this has been a very dry month. It will likely be one of the top 10 driest Octobers on record. First alert radar, not a drop of rain to be found. Not to mention there's barely a cloud to be found. You got to go up to northern Vermont, up to northern Michigan, maybe Nebraska to find any clouds. So that's how large and in charge this area of high pressure is. And that's why our weather is so quiet. So waking up tomorrow morning, make sure the kids have the jackets here. One of those tricky days where you're wearing the jacket at six, seven in the morning. And then in the afternoon hours, you're not wearing the jacket. Mid to upper 70s, low humidity and a nice westerly breeze at five miles per hour. So we're in your neighborhood on your corner. Let's take you to Baltimore County where a lot of you flirting with that 80 degree mark. Beautiful day in Cockeysville, Pikesville. You're going to be 80 degrees tomorrow. White Marsh 79, Moncton 79 degrees. Let's take you to Anne Arundel County with a land breeze. That means all the way to the beaches here, mid to upper 70s. So a beautiful drive up Shady Side uh, along Route 2, 76 in Annapolis, 77 Pasadena, Pasadena Glen Burnie. You're going to be near 80 degrees. Pick out your neighborhood. The Inner Harbor could be in the low 80s tomorrow afternoon. Everybody else near 80 degrees, even up in Cecil County, Elkton, you're going to be 80 degrees tomorrow afternoon. What about rain? No chance of rain, and that comes in a month that really hasn't had much. The biggest rainfall we had was back on the first, a little over a third of an inch of rain. So to date, this October, we've had a little over a third of an inch of rain, and I don't see any measurable rain through the end of this month. So that's pretty unbelievable here as this dry pattern keeps on keeping on. 79 degrees on your Monday. If you are planning the day here tomorrow, there's that temperature spread into the mid to upper 70s by afternoon. 79 Tuesday, 76 Wednesday. We'll get another drought update on Thursday. As you can see, severe drought conditions on the eastern shore. We'll update you on that. Right now, next weekend looks awesome. A fall feel, beautiful, crisp, and enjoy it. Kelsey, back over to you. All right, Steve, thank you. Check in tomorrow morning on WJZ starting at 4.30 for updated news, weather, and traffic.